Facebook Live and welcome to the launch of OMAD. One meal a day is the challenge starting tomorrow morning. OMAD, one meal a day. So I'm just going to answer your questions and answers. Uh, I'm going to answer your questions. So if you've got any questions about OMAD, please give them a type, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. Now, why the guys are just joining me, I'm just going to share this live video into some of my keto groups so let me just get that sharing into the groups and as i said feel free to ask any questions you may have um i'm going to go into it in a moment but i know it seems quite shocking because it's eating one meal a day it's like opposite to what we've been told before but obviously the big advantage is because you're only eating, your body's only processing food for one hour, that means your body will be in fat burning mode for 23 hours. I'm actually a little bit excited. It's going to be like the hardest thing we've done throughout the summer. But as I said, this is my last free challenge. So we're going to end with a bang and we're going to end with something wonderful. As I said, I'm just sharing this live video and I'll be with you fully in a moment. If you want to stop typing your questions about OMAD, what you think about it, um, have you done it before? That's the other thing. Uh, it seems to be quite popular with uh, some of the slimmers that I've been speaking with. Um, right, one more group I want to just OMAD UK. So I've put a little link, I'm going to do it again. I've made a special group guys, so it's called OMAD UK. So if you want to uh, join that group, you can download my instructions for the week. Or if you'd like to know more information about it, then just stick around on this page right now and I will be giving you more information. Um, let me just share it to one more place so yes have you heard of OMAD before obviously what you've got the, the key is you can't just eat anything you've got to have all your nutrients for the day in that one meal so for those of you who've seen the photo that I've been sharing it's literally got loads of different things in so I think this is the key and obviously you've got to have quite a lot of unsaturated fats for those of you who've been trying keto over the last couple of weeks. The, the really great thing about it is it does make you feel full. So for those of you who've had a ha high unsaturated fat meal, you can see actually eating one meal a day is quite easy as long as 75% of those calories are coming from unsaturated fat. Yep. Now the, they all suggest that the 1 p.m. seems to be the best time to eat but to be honest with you if you want to have it first thing in the morning and you're going to last all day then fine my key i think for you guys is you've got to keep busy really important obviously i'm going back to work tomorrow i'm going back to teaching fitness so for me this is perfect because i'm going to be busy recording teaching so for me this is the perfect time so this is why i'm happy that omad has coincided with me going back to some fitness classes. Um, I'm just going to share it with one more group. As I said, leave your questions now um, and then we'll be going through. I think that's everything. Right, okay. I'll leave my phone alone now, guys. So, as I said, if you go to OMAD UK, which is my exclusive Facebook group, I'll put it in the comments there, um, and you can download a PDF. Okay, now the PDF is two pages long as always and on that PDF it starts with uh, my contact details over here, so Slim Brother, uh, and then it goes straight into the meal plan over this side. So these are some of the suggested meals. Let me read them out for you. Um, so as it says at the top there, 1 p.m. is the optimal eating time. However, choose the time which best suits your lifestyle. Now the reason 1 p.m. is so good is because, to be honest, in the morning, no, very little insulin is released. So therefore you shouldn't get massive um, 
hunger pains in the morning. It's normal when you first get up to get a little bit of hunger, but to be honest with you, in the morning, your body doesn't really need that much um, energy. Uh, Bev is saying, can I start, can I, I think you mean, can I start again? Yes, of course you can, Bev. Start wherever you like. If you want to do OMAD, if you want to start a keto challenge, wherever you want to go. Hannah. Uh, Jody, with it being one meal a day, surely is that not healthy or is it kind of fasting? Yes, Hannah. Uh, the It all goes back to insulin. So for the, those of you who don't know, insulin makes hormones. And as you know, hormones are the one thing that does play with our mood, that plays with our hunger. So if you can bring down your insulin levels, then you can also bring down your... Um, your hormone level and therefore you can stay in a good happy mood so it's really really great uh, and again quite a lot of the health professionals are now recommending fasting and skipping breakfast uh, because it does leave your body in fat burning zone obviously if you've been doing keto for a number of weeks then doing something like OMAD is really really easy uh, to go straight from a really crap bad diet to OMAD is probably not the the best idea uh, but if you're feeling like you're really busy, like I've been saying, uh, a lot of men love one meal a day because they, they you know, they are distracted with their work. Uh, and one meal a day just suits them, maybe because they can only cook if they're on their own, <laughs> cook once a day. Uh, but what I would say is just try it, guys. Uh, obviously, um, it's really important that you don't cheat, that you don't really have any snacks or anything, because we don't want any of those insulin levels jumping up and down. Uh, so it might be a little trial and error, even if you can just try and have um, close your eating window. It's something different called intermittent fasting, but it works on the same uh, principles. Uh, Bev is saying, defo 1 p.m. I hate breakfast. Yes, Bev, I think this will be great. Um, Bev is saying, fish and eggs for keto for me. It's amazing. That's I lost my way. Yes, you just lost your way. Don't worry. So let's go through some of the suggested meals. So four chicken thighs with the skin on, uh, slowly shallow fried in two tablespoons of butter, so tablespoons, that is quite a lot of butter, large green salad with sliced avocado or two tablespoons of olive oil with lemon juice and black pepper. So if you can imagine that all on a plate, that is a big plate okay uh, so we'll be eating 1200 calories and all the fat in the chicken and then either in that avocado or the olive oil that's what's going to keep you full until the same time the following day the other meal options salmon fillet three eggs a bundle of asparagus thinly sliced courgettes all fried in four tablespoons I repeat four tablespoons of coconut oil so there's loads and loads of fat again and obviously there's some natural fats in the salmon in the eggs and then you've obviously got the asparagus and the courgette all absorbing that coconut fat as well right the next one which I think a lot of you are going to love uh, this is the homemade burger so 100 grams of any mint and one egg obviously just combine it into your own little burger um, and then you can top on your homemade burger two slices of streaky bacon which are slowly fried in two tablespoons of butter with the burger uh, 60 grams of cheddar cheese and for those of you who have been having 75 grams 60 grams is still a large portion uh, all served on a large bed of lettuce an aubergine sli sliced and slowly fried in three tablespoons of olive oil so that's basically burger and chips and boys out there you're going to love that burger and chips and you're going to be full this is the thing you're not making these meals right if you're not full and satisfied because these are really going to satisfy you right the next one this is a vegan option as you know i love to give lots of options for all my different clients out there so this is two avocados one chipped and shallow fried in two tablespoons of coconut oil one the other one is smashed with chili flakes and lemon um, so you've basically got some chips and dips 50 grams of brazil nuts a very large green salad two tablespoons of olive oil lemon juice and black pepper and again so you're having a big salad 
loads of mashed avocado, loads of avocado chips, and then you've also got the nuts on the side as well. So pretty much like that photo I've been sharing on the event page for this challenge, um, you know, it's going to be a big meal. It's going to look big, and you're going to, to be honest with you, you're going to struggle to eat it. But you just have to remember, when you think about not eating all that, those are all your nutrients and all your calories that are going to keep you full until the next day. So it is important that you do eat it all. Right, next one. Who fancies a pizza? This is 150 grams of home grated cheese. Now, the reason it has to be home grated cheese is because when you buy grated cheese in a packet, it actually has starch or a little bit of flour or some milk or something like that on the outside of the cheese to make it separated so it doesn't stick together. So that's why it's really important that it's not pre-grated in the packet. Um, so 150 grams of cheese, which is a lot of cheese. Uh, then you're going to mix that with two eggs and make your pizza bottom. And you're going to bake that for 10 minutes. And you're going to top it with 30 grams of pepperoni, one sliced tomato, a large mushroom, large green salad with sliced avocado or, tab or two tablespoons of olive oil. So again, you're having a nice big salad with your pizza. Obviously, if you want to add any herbs and spices, that's completely fine. Just make sure your herbs and spices are natural and there's no sugar or any MSGs, um, um, which are basically, I won't go into it a lot, but crap. Uh, <laughs> uh, next one, all day breakfast. So boys out there, another one for you. Uh, three bacon, three eggs, 200 grams of mushrooms, which is a lot of mushrooms, a whole punnet of mushrooms, 100 grams of tomatoes, a sliced avocado, which is basically your chips, all slowly fried in three tablespoons of butter. Now that is a lot of butter and it may not be absorbed by all those things. So what I want you to do is once you've finished frying it all, you've got all your things on your plate, I want you to pour that butter over all your ingredients. So again, it's like a little bit of a sauce. Um, and one of the things that my slimmers have really found um, great about keto and these sorts of meals is, you're replacing ketchup and all salad cream, all those sweet sauces, you're replacing sugar with fat. And that's why keto gets rid of all your sugar cravings, sorts out your diabetes, because you're literally replacing loads of sugar with a little bit of fat, and that does taste great. And it is literally life-changing. Uh, then my last option, is chips and dips. I know it's a big favorite with you guys out there. So 200 gram slices of Edam cheese. So you can buy those slices of Edam cheese. Uh, and basically you bake those until they're quite uh, stiff. So you're gonna use those as dips. So they're bake, they're cut in slices. So obviously you want them like Dorito shapes. Shall I even use that word? Triangle shapes. Uh, you wanna bake them for 10 minutes and leave them to cool because you want it to be hard. Um, and then for your dips, you can have 50 grams of mince, one onion and a tablespoon of tomato puree. So that's like a, a beefy sort of mince dip. Um, smashed avocado with lemon and chili. So that's going to be your guacamole. And you can also have 50 grams of sour cream and fresh chives. Is that heaven or is that heaven? And again, if you imagine all those three dips, all your like cheese Doritos, it's just... You're just going to be having the time of your life. Uh, and then again, for health reasons, serve that with a large green salad. You will be full, full, full. Um, and then finally, make your own. So if you want to make anything, so if you don't like the idea of any of those, I've given you a little food list. So the only thing that you need to bear in mind is that your meal should be 1,200 calories. Try not to go over it or under it. Try and stick to that many calories. Your maximum carbs you can eat in this meal is 20 grams, which if you've done keto before, eating 20 grams in one go is actually quite a lot, so you'll be fine with that. Uh, and the most important thing, 75% of your calories need to come from fat. So if that sounds a little bit complicated for you, then just stick to my meal plans, because I've done all the maths for you. Uh, but if you're quite good with stuff like this, then go through the food list, um, and just bear in mind that you need to have pro a little bit of protein, um, some obviously fresh green vegetables with your meal, um, and then there's 75% fat as well. If you've got any questions, by the way, guys, as I said, join that group and you will be able to ask any questions or private message me. Um, then also on this sheet, 
it gives you some daily lifestyle advice so eat one meal a day with no snacks if possible have your meal in the daytime so definitely try and eat before 6 p.m if you can uh, now a lot of people are going to ask me about drinks if you can just stick to water i'll have a water break oh god got me in the eye the <laughs> Uh, if you can just stick to water, don't make sure your water doesn't get you in the eye, then great. If you want to have black tea and coffee, this won't interfere with your uh, insulin levels. If you want to have some double cream in a coffee, then you can have that with your meal. But outside your meal time, it's really important that you don't have any calories whatsoever because we don't want to touch those insulin levels. So really, really important. Uh, so you can have a little bit of black tea or coffee. Um, or a little bit of herbal tea, but just make sure there's no sugar or anything in there that's going to touch your insulin level. As I said, if you can, just stick to water. Um, now, it's really important that you do have two to three litres of water because it is basically a detox what we're doing. Uh, so you're, for your body to be in fat burning zone in 23 hours per the day, um, it obviously needs to wee out your fat. So this is why it's so important um, that you do get the water in. You are going to feel dehydrated because you're you're literally going to be weeing your fat away out your body. So if you don't drink enough water, you're not going to lose the weight, guys. So that's why it is so vital. Um, the next one is to add a little bit of salt. If you've got pink Himalayan salt, then that's great. Um, so add that to your meal. Now, if you feel like it, also try and do a bit 20 minutes of walking, cycling or swimming. Swim pools are open from yesterday. Uh, so if you know that where there's a pool open, you could swim for 20 minutes. If you don't feel like exercising, guys, don't do it because I guarantee you will still lose the seven pounds in the five days. Uh, spend 20 minutes outdoors in the daylight. So the direct light touches your face or your forearms. And again, really important to get a vitamin D. Uh, if you think about what we're trying to do here, we're trying to increase your metabolism. So it's really important that your bodily functions are all working correctly. Uh, and vitamin D is just vital for that. So really important just to get outside for 20 minutes minimum per day. Think positively. Yes, this will work. Yes, you can do it. Uh, read up on OMAD. Read up on a high fat diet and a low carb diet if you're not too sure about it. Uh, but as I said, you so important just to, to make your mind and your body work correctly. And you've got to be positive. Take 10 big deep breaths. As simple as that. Just do that 10 times, guys. As we said, we want to get your digestion, everything working correctly. So it is vital that you are breathing correctly. And finally, on your daily tasks, is to sleep by 10 p.m. And again, really important there, um, not only because I don't want you to, to stay up late at night and just feel hungry and just feel horrible. Uh, if you want to go to bed at 8 p.m., I know a lot of my slimmers do that, then go to bed at 8 p.m., guys. Go as early as you like. Uh, but try not to nap in the day uh, and try and wake up. At, I've got my alarm set for 5.55 a.m. So you can get yourself in that um, trying to sleep from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. It will uh, help you with your weight loss. Um, the details there about making your own meal. So there's a free website called myfitnesspal.com. You can use the website. You can download the app. Uh, and that will also work out how many carbs are in meals uh, and where your percentage of calories are coming from. So if you need to work out your own, uh, you can use the website to help you there. So that is the first page. And as I said, the other one, this is, uh, it's actually a shopping list, but you can use it for alternatives. Uh, obviously, if you want to change things over, I know some of you don't like some of the suggestions on my meal plan. Uh, just bear in mind, if you're swapping a vegetable, then it needs to be from the green list. If you're swapping a source of fat, so for instance, if you don't like coconut oil, you can change it to olive oil. So it's also got to be on the fat list. And if you're changing the protein, like if you don't like salmon, you can swap it to prawns, which is on that list as well. So that is colour coded there. Right, and now I've been ignoring the questions, but that I did that on purpose because I want to just get through it. I'm going to have a drink without poking the eye out. Right, 
let's go through these questions. Um, Bev saying it sounds like heaven. Yes, I really fancy a lot of these meals, Bev. Uh, Christina, my sentiment entirely. I think Christina's agreeing with Bev because the fish and the eggs is the way forward. Uh, where is the OMAD stuff? OMAD is a little bit like keto. It's just a it was invented by the people it's not really you know there are some books out there but if you just omad or put it into wikipedia it will give you uh, all the research and all the details um anya <laughs> you're right skunk egg hi anya uh joanna's saying kick up the backside and back on it start over again after a week off right joanna i've also had a little break over the weekend as well so it's not necessarily a bad thing the other thing i was going to say about that is that i really took it to the extremes this week i had cake i had bread i purely because not particular. to be honest with you it's not particularly because i wanted it I wanted to see what would happen to my body if I went to these extremes. Um, and you know what? I felt like a little bit digestional, like full and bloated, but I didn't have the headaches. I didn't feel like awful, awful. So I was actually pleasantly surprised um, that I'm not feeling too bad. Uh, obviously the scales are going to tell me a different story tomorrow. But um, as I said, I did want to try that over the weekend just to see if I feel as bad as you guys have been telling me. But I was all right. Uh, Bev, uh, me too. I feel awful. Can't wait to get back on it. Yes. Um, I think the main thing for me, um, because I'd gone from uh, tea and Diet Coke, stuff like that, I really find that those sorts of things, if you go back to those, those will really negatively affect you. Uh, but again, if you're going on to real sugar, uh, they go through your body quite quickly. So I think this may be the issue. Um, Joanna's saying she feels bloated and rough. We'll sort you out tomorrow, Joanna. Um, and Bev, we can do this. Yes, we sure can. Right, guys, any other questions? The sun wasn't out earlier. The sun has come out in my eyes as well as my water poking me in my eyes as well. As I said, if you're just joining us, if you'd like to lose seven pounds in the next five days, this is my last free five day challenge of the summer. And simply go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SB Slim Brother OMAD. <laughs> the other one is you can just search Facebook for OMAD UK. So the group name of the group is called OMAD UK. You can download your full instructions or the link to the group is in the description here. I will just post it again in the comments. So you will see it pop up there on the screen. OMAD UK if you'd like to join the challenge. And you can lose seven pounds in the next five days. Uh, as I said, all you need to do to get started is download this. Weigh yourself in the morning. You can post your weight in the group. <gasps> Loads of you are shocked by that. Or you can private message me or you can just keep it to yourself. So just make sure you've got a record of it. If you've got no scales, then take a photo of yourself or measure your the largest part of your waist or your hips and use that as a guide. Uh, I'll be live at 8 p.m. every single night this week. As I said, I'm really excited about this challenge. Uh, purely because it's been quite a limited menu. The last few weeks I was doing vegan. Um, what did we do after vegan? I can't remember. But then we did budget. Um, and then we did... Um, oh yeah, eating out. So I've made myself eat certain kinds of food. So I'm glad because on OMAD you can actually have anything you like as long as it fits into those uh, categories. Um, personally, what I've found over the last few weeks, I agree with the girls as well, fish and eggs are great. Not only do they make you feel good, they actually make you feel full as well. And just emphasise on the unsaturated fats seem to really work for me. Lowering down on cheese, uh, lowering down on nuts um, and also lowering down on de just generally dairy. Uh, so those are the things that seem to be working for me.
Yes, good luck everybody, Christine is saying. Uh, and do remember guys, if you've been enjoying these uh, challenges over the last few months, because I've been doing two months of free challenges now, uh, but they've been flying by. Uh, remember, I do do one-to-one -one coaching. So if you do, if you have, if you have enjoyed this, um, me coaching you, uh, I do do one-to-one -one coaching where I can call you, uh, or we can chat, or by text, or we can do video call, uh, and I will check in with you every single week to make sure you've weighed yourself. And obviously, we have an action plan as well. So if you'd like me to be your coach after these courses finish please let me know and I've got lots of ideas to get your weight loss going. And you also get to join the Slim Brothers and Sisters, which is my exclusive Facebook group, which a lot of these guys are in over there. Uh, and again, it's not all just happy clappy, oh, I all feel so good, we've been losing loads of weight. Uh, you do get a lot of honesty as well, saying I've fallen off the wagon, please help me, what shall I try next as well. Uh, so it's definitely a support group. If you've got any more questions, are you watching this on Catch Up? Then leave a little message, guys, and I will get back to you later. Uh, thank you for joining me. As I said, I'll be live in that group, OMAD UK, tomorrow at 8pm, which will be seven hours after my first meal. And I'm hoping by that time, I'm not going to feel hungry, I'm still feeling content. And if I do feel hungry and I, and I don't feel content, I'm going to do the live video at 8 and I go straight to bed. That's, that's the answer, guys. Get planning things. How are you going to keep yourself busy this week? Right, see you tomorrow at 8. Or I'll see you at DW Fitness tomorrow for my first class in four months. I can't wait. Um, and if you're not booked in or you're not a member of DW, uh, then I will be doing it live online at 9.30 and also again at 11. 30. So I'll see you then or I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye for now.